Hello. So during normal drone operations, we tend to use a takeoff and landing pad, as you can see here. And the benefits of a takeoff and landing pad are we have a nice flat surface to take off from, and also we protect the camera from um, if it's nice and clean, we protect the camera from the uh, the wind that's created from the. Uh, the rotors of the propeller, we protect the camera from dust hitting it, etc. But sometimes we're put in positions where it's not suitable to have a takeoff and landing pad with us. One example is if we're flying from a boat in a confined space. Maybe we're flying up a hill or a mountain, rocky areas, possibly shallow water, beaches, etc. etc. So sometimes you're forced to take the drone off from your hand. So there's two accepted methods of, uh, or methods we use to take off the drone from our hand. The first one is the flat palm method. So we need to keep our thumb in and the drone takes off from there. The second method is our two finger and thumb method where we sort of clamp the base of the drone um, with our two fingers and thumb. So before we do anything, we just need to remember a bit of health and safety in relation to our eyes. Um, you'd be quite foolish not to wear a pair of safety glasses if you're taking a drone off from your, um, from your hand. Now, the problem we have with, as far as the flat palm is concerned, to keep your palm flat, you can only raise the drone up so far, whereas with your two finger and thumb method, you can get it away a lot further and higher, so protecting your eyes. So why don't we, in detail now, look at the two methods? and um, we can try and find out which one's best for us. Our first hand takeoff example is we're going to use the, the palm method and we're going to do an auto takeoff. So we need to hold the drone away from us. You can see I've got my safety glasses on. On the left hand side of our screen here, we've got this small up arrow. So we press the up arrow. Then we have a dialog box that asks us if we want to take off. So we hold our thumb the circle goes all the way around and then we let go and the drone takes off nice and calmly in the air. So our next method we can use to take off is the um, two finger and thumb uh, method. So this is quite a controlled method. It's quite nice because we can get the drone quite far away from our head. And remember, I'm using my safety glasses. So let's just give it a go. So we go back to the uh, left hand side on the up arrow, press the up arrow and then hold the circle, let go and the drone will take off nice and calmly from our hand. So the next method we can use with our thumb and two finger method is a manual motor start and take off. Now we just need to be a little bit careful with this one because we've obviously got a uh, move, we can move the left uh, stick quite easily, but bringing the right stick down and into the center, we tend to use this part of our hand and we tend to make or take the controller out to the drone rather than bringing the drone into us. So this is the method. We bring this one down. We then bring our right stick down and in. The rotor start Take off. and off we go. Home point updated. We just need to talk about one further note in relation to uh, hand takeoffs, be it the palm method or the thumb and two finger method. We do need to keep the drone um, flat in attitude because as we can see on the screen, if we're a bit sloppy with our attitude and we're like this, we'll see on the screen there that the angle, pitch angle for takeoff is too, um, is too much and it won't allow us to start the propellers. And you can see just from the camera there, we've got our red flashing lights on the back, just warning us that the pitch angle, as soon as we flatten out the attitude, we wait a few moments, the warning will go, and then we can start the takeoff procedure. So just bear that one in mind, okay? And we're just gonna show you now, we'll prove the system, we're just gonna take off. So let's try this again. Updated. 
So we're now going to try a hand landing using the thumb and two finger method. There's a couple of things we need to bear, bear in mind here. We need to position our hand in the approximate position where we're going to pick up the drone when it comes down, but we may not move our hand, okay? We can hear that the sensor is picking us up and it knows that our hand is below it. And we're going to bring the left thumb all the way down. The drone wheel just hold for about five seconds. It will descend. We grasp the drone, release the pressure on the left hand stick and the props will turn off. Just as with the takeoff, there is a second method that we can use to land the drone, and this is our flat palm method. We'd never recommend this method because it does get a bit fiddly, and as I'm going to show you in a moment, it's not as good as our thumb and two finger method. One thing we need to do is line the back of the drone up with the axis of our hand, how we're holding our hand. So I'm just going to line the drone, line the drone now in your, and I'm going to bring the drone down. Hold my hand still. Um, we need to wait a few seconds. The drone descends. Hold that left hand stick down and the props will stop. Now this isn't as stable as the thumb two finger method, but it is a legitimate method, okay?